Hi everybody. So I'm gonna give a short uh, explanation of the stuff I uh, carry on our uh, on my bike uh, for our uh, world trip. So what you can see here on the table is all the stuff uh, I carry. In uh, total, it's uh, around uh, 60 liters of uh, volume, and the weight uh, is around 26 and a half uh, kilograms. I will now. Uh, piece by piece unpack it so uh, you have an idea how I pack it and what's all in for our uh, trip. So I started unpacking my tank bag. Yeah? So here you can see the tank bag, small one, because we use the uh, enduro type uh, motorbikes, so we cannot carry like the bulky ones uh, on the front of our uh, uh, motorbikes. So on the outside, I have like a cloth to um, clean my visor or whenever something needs to be dried out, uh, I always have it handy. Yeah. In the inside, you can see there's an extra pocket. Uh, where I carry uh, my documents and my paperwork, like my passport and my uh, vaccination uh, certificate uh, and the papers of the motorbike. I have some uh, disinfection uh, tissues with me. I have the battery for the uh, jump uh, starter. I have my power bank, which I charge during the day uh, while riding and can use during the uh, night for charging my phone and my uh, camera. I have a basic set of tools, yeah, which I carry uh, also, also in the tank bag to have them handy and um, uh, accessible uh, when needed. Second thing, uh, my uh, petal light, yeah, always um, uh, handy to have it uh, at hand. Then I have some wet tissues stuff we also use uh, a lot uh, to um, or go to the toilet or even take a shower of course toilet paper yeah also uh, important to have handy and then i have all my cable stuff yeah also in the tank bag that means i have like for my uh, garmin uh, watch for my um, gopro and the standard uh, uh, cable for my phone and for my tablet and a, um, a charger uh, which I can put in uh, electricity. Uh, what I take is a double one so I can charge uh, two things uh, at the same time. What I have here also, maybe a bit bulky but it came with the uh, jump starter, it's the charging uh, device for the jump starter. Yeah. Also very important, uh, one time uh, we actually wanted to uh, take it, uh, there was an accident and a guy was lying under his car uh, and those uh, are the blankets are, uh, that are used to keep people warm when they're like in shock. Last thing I carry in my tank bag, it's my pocket multimeter, yeah? So it's stuff that's connected to your phone and you can uh, measure um, tension and current and you can measure a, a lot of stuff with it and it's very handy very small and uh, it works actually very good so if you open it it connects to your phone and you have a multimeter next the tail bag yeah it's around 20 liters first of all i carry my uh, rain suit on the top of my uh, tail bag uh, so it's uh, accessible when it starts raining um, i have like a, a suit that's watertight but not for uh, uh, hours and hours so i need my uh, rain suit to uh, be covered good next what i also carry in my tail bag is the uh, our drone yeah. 
good. Next one I cover it's um, a scrubber back. So actually it's to do the laundry. Uh, we use it a couple of times. It's very uh, uh, efficient, very small, uh, works uh, very fine. Yeah, good. What else? A cutting board for the cooking because actually I'm carrying the kitchen uh, on our trip. Uh, so I have all the stuff uh, for the cooking. Good. This is very interesting. Yeah, those bags are watertight and can be filled with food. Yeah, so that means if we have some dry rice we want to take or couscous or whatever, we can put them in the bags and uh, they will be kept uh, dry um, and good. If they're not filled, they're very uh, small and um, uh, take no, no space. Our cooking set, yes, so we have an Optimus uh, cooking set, very good quality. The only thing you have to watch out for is that if you put something inside, that you uh, protect it, that it doesn't uh, scratch the surface, yes. This is like the Stefal stuff, um, which is very handy for cleaning. Uh, on the road when you're camping a lot like we do uh, you don't always uh, uh, waste water on the dishes so you can just clean it uh, with uh, a paper towel or toilet paper the uh, stuff to do the dishes some towel like with our knives and forks for each of us then we have a small wooden spoon, yeah, I cut the end to make it small because we cannot use like the metal um, uh, spoons or metal uh, tools in our um, Tefal stuff uh, not to scratch them, okay, and then we have like the handle to uh, take the pots and pans, we have a small uh, let's say call it a blanket because if we're cooking um, and camping then it's always handy to have like a, a clean surface uh, on the uh, ground where you can put all your stuff yeah what do we have uh, next if we use water and uh, soap uh, we have like this um, sponge which is uh, uh, washable so it's a plastic one or uh, some similar plastic uh, which can be cleaned. Also very handy. Of course, we have our plates, yeah, which fold in. We have two of them because we are two. We have our uh, garbage bags. Very important, always take a garbage bag. So if you camp somewhere, if you stay somewhere, you always take your garbage with you. You don't leave it behind. And then, like something very special, we're very intense coffee drinkers. So we bought ourselves a foldable um, a coffee filter, let's say, where we can put grinded coffee, put, put water and on the bottom the coffee comes out. We didn't use this yet, but I'm sure it will be great. And then of course we have the two pots, which we both uh, use because we actually do pretty intense cooking when we camp. Uh, so two, two pots always uh, come in handy and volume and weight, it doesn't matter. Good. What else do I carry? Like I carry also the tools and the spare parts in my tail bag because they're pretty um, uh, soft and they can be damaged. Uh, my tail bag is like on top so if I uh, have a fall I don't crash the tail bag, only the side bags. Uh, the oil filters uh, for both uh, of our bikes. Okay, also very important the spray for the chain. Of course, two cups. Then we have a small bag which we carry where we put like uh, some herbs, uh, tea, um, so all stuff for actually luxury uh, uh, situations what I carry more is like the MSR uh, water purifier yeah so we can take water from a river and uh, purify it uh, to uh, drinking water good so my favorite knife already have it for I don't know how many years but it serves for everything cutting bread meat um, yeah 
I cannot miss it. Okay, so you saw when I was unpacking the tank back uh, that I have like this uh, battery for the jump starter in my tail back. I carry the connections uh, for the battery. Okay, of course my tank back is not watertight, uh, so I also have the cover for my uh, tank back. Also, a very important tool in our set is our uh, MSR uh, Whisper Light uh, stove, um, which works on all kinds of uh, uh, fuels. Uh, the bottle I will show you later, um, but this is the stove, very compact, works very, work very fine. And then uh, last but not least, my uh, cosmetic set, as they say. So I don't carry like a separate bag, I use like this, yeah, put everything in. Why? Because I use this for washing myself, yeah, it's very practical, only take this. Um, so you make it wet, you can wash actually your whole, your whole body. You wash it, you can rinse your whole body, dry yourself and you're good. What do I have in? For the ears, clean the ears, toothbrush, toothpaste, like some Dio, the comb for my beard, I never comb my hair, and then Last but not least, my soap. I don't carry any shower gel, I just carry a soap. It's very compact, it goes a long way, and um, yeah, I like it. to unpack the first uh, side bag I have it's 18 liter bag so not everything fits in the Helinox fits on it but uh, it's a bit too bulky uh, to get in so I mentioned it first the Helinox chair we love it really we cannot we, we will not leave without it it's uh, a really comfort uh, uh, item secondly my uh, sleeping bag yeah you see I saw a uh, uh, discussion uh, it's compressed, yes. It's a sleeping bag I use, it's a dow down one. Uh, it's, I used it last year in minus 17 degrees and I slept like a baby. So uh, I don't leave it compressed all the time. Uh, whenever I get the chance and we stay somewhere longer, I take it out so it can uh, take some air. Secondly, uh, our Thermarest, yes, very small, very compact, but very uh, uh, comfortable. Uh, and very um, isolating. Our tents, yes, I can also carry, carry our, our tent. Uh, two packages, yes, you see, not too big. Um, and we use like this compression bags uh, to put it in and to really uh, make them uh, uh, small. Yeah, and they fit perfectly in the uh, side bags. We never put our tent without like the footprint, yeah. So that's like actually a tarp you put underneath the tent for isolation and to protect uh, your tent, of course. Also very important, my jacket, yeah. It's, it's a down uh, jacket, uh, also compressible, uh, very interesting uh, for the volume, uh, weight, and it's very warm. Also very important, we carry a tarp, yeah. It's three by three meters, so it's a pretty big one. If we stay somewhere camping for uh, a bit longer, we use it to, uh, we put it up and we use it to put some luggage underneath it, or we use it to protect our motorbikes uh, when raining. Good. Last item, it's my pillow. Yeah, also inflatable, but very comfortable. Um, it lasts already for a couple of years, so I only need to wash it, uh, I think, next time. So, now we have the second uh, side back in which I carry uh, most of the uh, tools and equipment and uh, my clothes, yeah. 
Uh, first of all, on top of the uh, bag, I also carry a four liter water uh, bag, um, which uh, we use for drinking water. We also have our uh, um, uh, camel bags on, uh, in our uh, small backpacks, but this is uh, uh, extra. If we go uh, for a, a longer time uh, of the grid, let's say, and we don't have any place to fill up, we have more than enough water uh, with us. The tools. So I have like three extra, um, let's say, children's uh, bags, yeah, which they use to go to uh, to go to school with. Uh, I use this, not like this uh, roll uh, stuff, because this is way more compact and um, it's pretty efficient. I carry in those uh, the electrical uh, stuff. That means like some spare parts for the electrical. Uh, uh, side of the motorbike, some um, uh, maintenance stuff like the uh, uh, like the like the spark plugs and uh, all the uh, changeables, and uh, in the last bag I uh, have some some extra um, uh, screws and bolts and nuts, uh, which we chosen not randomly but actually the sizes that are used on the bikes. We try to also on the motorbikes have like as much as possible the same screws and the same uh, bolts so we don't need to carry too much tools. Uh, we can actually dismantle the half of the bike with one key. Uh, that's the idea. But this is not uh, bulky, but it's pretty heavy. Good. What's also very important, what we carry, it's like a small pump. Yeah? This one is a very good one. Uh, we bought it uh, from uh, Eastbound. Um, I can uh, uh, get seven kilograms of uh, pressure on our tires. Very important if you want to tire to you know, explode and get into uh, its place, uh, you need some pressure very efficient uh, and small uh, tool. What we carry uh, else, it's like a small uh, saw. So if we, for example, in the evening want to have a campfire and I want to cut some wood, I have a small saw with me, um, hand saw, which we can use for that. Also, if the road, for example, is blocked and the trees are too tangled up to get out of the way, we can uh, cut them. Also very important uh, tools we carry, it's like the uh, eastbound stuff for uh, taking your uh, tires off. Yeah? What's also in, uh, it's um, uh, the key to uh, undo the uh, wheel nuts. Yeah? So you can see it's aluminium, it's very light, we used it several times and uh, it's very very efficient we're very happy with this uh, equipment really and you can buy some extra parts as we did and then you have a very long uh, lever it's all in the lever they say so what we have here is some uh, connections we don't have uh, uh, gas bottles with us but we have a small, but Agatha is carrying it, we have a small uh, Coleman uh, head uh, uh, that's uh, used for gas, yeah? And those are connections, so we can use all uh, types of uh, gas bottles. Good. So that's a bit the technical stuff. Uh, then the last one I will show you. Uh, each of us carries a spare uh, inner tube, yeah? So also something we have with us, put it in a plastic bag, some talk in it to uh, keep it dry. Also keep it in a bag uh, to keep the moist uh, out if it's too long in the bag so it doesn't get wet. Good. Then the last part, but not the least, but not too bulky, it's my clothes. Yeah, Agatha always tells me I carry way too not enough yeah but so first of all very bulky the shoes yeah i put them also in a in a small bag why if you uh, wear them uh, somewhere they can get wet or dirty and i don't want my um, luggage inside to be too dirty so i put them in a, a cotton bag uh, so they don't mess up the rest of my uh, luggage my clothes so i have two small bags 
Yes. What do I carry? So first of all, I have like merina wool uh, long sleeve uh, stuff. That means uh, this is when I get cold for riding. Uh, this is really top quality stuff. It's very light, it's very compact and uh, what's very important, you can wear it for a couple of days and it doesn't start stinking. If you wash it, it dries out in a second, matter of speaking. Good, so I have like for underwear, I have like the merina wool stuff for riding, which I use for riding. Same story, it dries out very fast, it doesn't stink uh, and it's very compact. When I want a bit of luxury or when we're in the city or staying in a hotel, I have like a cotton under pant just to feel a bit comfortable. Same story, I have like a normal pair of socks, a warm pair of socks and a spare pair of socks for the riding. Also merino wool, same story, doesn't stink, very washable. What I also carry, it's my pyjamas. Yeah? You, may, you might think like he's crazy, he's carrying pyjamas, but on the other hand, rest is very important, sleeping is very important. So for me, it's comfort and it makes me feel a bit ha at home. So that was my first small bag. What do I have in my second one? I have my towel, yeah, which is like also a sort of cotton one. It dries very fast out. Uh, it's very comfortable. I like it very much. And it's uh, not as bulky as the normal uh, towels. So uh, I like it very much. Most of the time it's outside uh, on my tail bag for drying. Uh, but for now I have it in my uh, luggage. So uh, another item, my sweater. It's also in the luggage. Uh, if we are riding uh, when it's a bit more chilly. So uh, actually my, my clothes department uh, will get less bulky um, and way smaller. Then I have one pair of uh, trousers, uh, which is a com combination. It's like, I don't know, 30 euro in Decathlon. It's very, very uh, strong. It's very light, very compact, also dries out very fast and you can unzip it so you have shorts too. Then, spare t-shirt, also merino wool. Um, same story again, washable, not stinkable, very nice material. And then of course, very important also to be comfortable in the evening or uh, when we're out, is like our own t-shirts in cotton, so we can make some publicity too. small bags, the bottle holders, let's say, uh, which are strapped to my uh, side bags uh, and which uh, carry the, the following items. So we each carry, uh, Agatha carries one liter and I carry one liter of uh, engine oil. Yeah. So we have the 450s, uh, so we need to change our oil a bit more frequent. So we carry uh, each one uh, oil change uh, uh, which, you know, actually uh, with the one extra oil change carries us uh, 10,000 kilometers. So uh, more than enough, I think. So one liter of oil. Then I have the bottle with the fuel for our uh, MSR uh, stove uh, for the cooking, which I can fill with whatever uh, fuel uh, I want. It will work on the MSR. What I have more is like the kitchen sink, yeah. So it's a very compact and uh, um, uh, useful uh, uh, tool. It's a kind of bag that's a bit stiff, and uh, you can put five liters of water here. So to do the dishes, to wash yourself a bit, uh, or to get water out of a river, it's like perfect. The pickets, I don't know in English how it's called, but the pickets for the tent are also there. I don't want to put them in the 
in my main luggage because they're a bit sharp and they could uh, puncture uh, stuff. I have some spare uh, uh, rock straps. Yeah. Another one, it's not a rock strap, but just to tie some stuff down if needed. Like some tape, like the duct tape, of course, never leave with a, a home without it. And like some tape for the electrical uh, wiring. Also very important, what we use a lot is our hammer. Yeah. So when I get like frustrated, I use it. And when I want to put up tent, I also use it to put the pickets into the uh, ground. Also something we carry because we do the maintenance on the road. Also sometimes in the middle of nowhere, it's like this foldable, um, um, yeah, tunnel, let's say. I don't know how it's called in English, it doesn't matter. You see what it's for. It's putting the oil in. <laughs> Good. Then we have uh, spare um, uh, brake pads, yeah. Um, actually, we when we make do big maintenance, we foresee, but you never know on the road when something happens uh, that we have spare ones. Also, very interesting, we have two identical bikes, which means they fit on uh, both bikes, uh, one set for the front and one set for the back. We have some spare um, uh, spark plugs here too and some uh, grease that can be used for uh, whatever, for everything. Yeah. And then something that doesn't go into the uh, bottle holders, but which I strapped to my luggage. It's of course the tent poles, yeah. And some poles to put up the tarp, yeah. I know it's a bit bulky, but uh, we used it a lot already and we're very happy with the tarp and those poles come in very handy. So that was it for uh, my part of the luggage. Um, so I got as one um, is also very uh, uh, complex. Let's say she's carrying more the medical stuff and uh, uh, electronical stuff. Um, but maybe uh, one day she feels like uh, explaining to you um, what she's carrying. Good. So. I thank you for watching, uh, I hope uh, I uh, got you some tips um, and uh, I hope to meet you uh, somewhere in the future on the road. Uh, if you want to follow our uh, adventures, uh, you can follow us on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we also have a website, uh, advhoppers.eu. Yeah? And uh, please check out our uh, uh, videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.